when this COVID outbreak took place, people working in hospitals, they didn't have masks. My daughter works in a nursing home and, you know, they did not have masks. There was a lot of stories like that. I got a phone call on a Saturday from General Motors. Hey, have you ever made masks before? Yes. They said, well, we have a design. Could you make it work here in the U.S.? Oh, by the way, we need it in six days. Um, oh, that's a different challenge. So, yeah. Numerous conversations that happened from ESIS back to the JR team in Holland, to our team overseas. There is a significant amount of technology inside a mask. Specifically, the center layer is not easy to produce. Engineers that would normally design airbags and seat belts, they learned about what it took to make a mask. One of the neat things that JR was able to bring to the table was our knowledge around aseptic, clean rooms, and materials. The first milestone was to get all of the drawings converted from Chinese to English. We had one engineer that spoke Chinese. He converted drawings and that's all he did. Second milestone was getting all the parts cut. We cut parts from six o'clock at night till six in the morning for three days straight. We also received support from the Detroit Red Wings, the Philadelphia Flyers and the Chicago Blackhawks. Their equipment manager gave us a machine to double the disinfecting of the mass. My role to start was finding employee volunteers. Our volunteers use an ultrasonic welder that attaches the ear straps on. It was 13 shifts for 315 people. That filled up in less than two hours. Thursday at seven o'clock, we were fully assembled and we powered on. Throughout General Motors, you could hear a sigh of relief. The initial goal was a million masks a month. We're well over capacity. We've shipped over 2.5 million masks. We're producing almost 100,000 a day. Hospitals, police departments, nonprofit organizations, it's, it's all being donated to the community. Big companies have an equally big responsibility to serve the community. With Team GM Cares, our employee volunteerism program, we're able to do this through corporate social responsibility. Having a program like Hitachi's Powering Good really steps in with the technology. As much as innovation is about cool technology and doing things that we've never done before, we never entered into this from the perspective of, hey, we're going to have a great return on investment. At Itachi, it's not all about dollars and cents. All anybody talked about on this project was powering good. It's about all of us at General Motors and Hitachi coming together. Being able to take that manufacturing know-how and convert it into direct support for the folks on the front line.